The Community College of Allegheny County South Campus and Indiana University of Pennsylvania combined forces in March 2016 in a relief effort to bring water to the city of Flint, Michigan. What's it like coming here and um, seeing the crisis up close and personal? Well, it's definitely personal for me. I'm originally from Michigan, born and raised, and so Flint's been a second home to me, and I'm just really happy to come back and get a chance to really connect with the community. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of spirit here, and everyone here has been very well receptive of us coming out to help, to help the community, and so we're just really happy to be here. And then we're, we're representing the Community College of Allegheny County and Indiana University of Pennsylvania, and again, you know, we're here to serve. We are really grateful for all the love and, and the support that comes from out of town um, and from the different sororities in Flint. I would like to say that when you're in a community, working in a community, surrounded by a community that's had something as fundamental as water be basically poisoned, you don't realize the gravity of it until the national media starts calling attention to it. It's like your normal, you realize might not be normal. Every person has to have at least eight glasses of water a day to drink. You need water for cooking and washing your vegetables and bathing it. So we have 100,000 people in the city times even just the eight. It's 800,000 bottles a day. So all the water that we're getting is by donations and it's through volunteers. So we have not gotten one bottle of water that's been provided by the state. The non-governmental agencies uh, is the ones that such as like the Red Cross, they would come to your home and they would bring one case of water uh, and a purifier. Downtown has been tested for water and retested numerous times. They're not finding lead in this section of town. So it's not that every single home and business in Flint has a lead issue. That's not true. The older sections of towns do. And it's been almost like sometimes neighbor, when one neighbor to the next you'll have a, uh, no lead and then the next neighbor will have some lead in there. Uh, sometimes we think that we feel that the media has overblown the situation. It is a critical situation. There have been children that have been affected by the lead in the water and it's tragic what's happened there. But it's not the entire city, it's not the entire county by any means. Businesses succeed where they correctly identify opportunity. And Flynn has definitely had some hard knocks over the years. But there are other kinds of opportunity in Flint. So we are sitting in a building on the main drag core of downtown that costs $19,000. That was an opportunity. Uh, I live one half a mile away. My house cost $4,000. And not, I bought a shell of a house for $4,000 and spent a year and a half fixing it. I bought the house on Wednesday. I vacuumed and cleaned on Thursday. And Friday, it was ready to move in. We have some really beautiful places. Um, it's up and coming. Some areas, unfortunately, haven't been touched by prosperity like this area here. Flint is a multitude of things, and one of the things that it is, is very beautiful. We have some amazing homes that were built in the 20s um, by the uh, people who started GM. Um, the neighborhood I live in, for, uh, for example, um, all the homes are from the 1920s and 30s. Two, three stories, all wood floors, um, any place else it'd be half a million to a million dollars. I bought my house here in Flint for $45,000. I love it here. This is an amazing town. There are so many things to do here. We have a great cultural center. There's a huge art uh, culture here. It's absolutely amazing what you can find in such a small town. In my opinion, Flint's coming back. I mean, it, it really will. I mean, we've got so much media attention on the water. There's so much new stuff that's getting kicked into gear to bring Flint back. I want to say don't give up on Flint. Don't believe. look at us all as bad because we're really not. We may have a few bad apples, but that's not all of us. There's many of us here that are still positive and still driving towards the future because that's where it's really at. We will and are coming back. It's a slow process, but we're doing it, definitely.